Well, hello and welcome to how to bend one inch rebar on site using oxyacetylene torches with a medium rosebud heating tip. First off, receive the rebar. Secondly, build a rebar jig to enable bending of the one inch rebar. So here we've used the stability of the new garage foundation and cladding it with quarter inch steel or various thicknesses of steel that I had in inventory. Currently the three quarter inch square piece of steel you see there in the distance I'm cutting with the cutting torch to a radius suitable to bend the one inch rebar. That will be applied on top of the base plate now being secured to the foundation there by Derek and that will be our jig to bend the one inch rebar. We'll also need some stability on the side so we're putting some angle iron on there to hold that one side rigid so it does not move as we're bending. We've used the sill bolts of the foundation to bolt the new jig to the foundation. Here's me updating Aaron that we are starting with the welding. It's welding day <laughs> for Aaron. <laughs> Applying heat. Jig is looking pretty new there. And look at that bend. It makes it look fast. It takes a lot longer. The rebar is slipping in the jig when attempting to bend the second half of the radius. So I clamp the rebar to the angle iron. So you got to heat it up as you go, bending it around the jig. So it's not too windy today, easy to maintain the heat outside. So we're bending this one inch rebar to conform to the engineer's drawings. At the bottom of the footing, it's shown as a continuous bent one inch rebar. For bending one inch rebar to a 90 degree corner, a six inch radius is required. I did take material to a local welding shop but with the jigs they have and the shape and dimensions of the bending required they were not able to do it they did take a piece to the shop and attempt to bend it as requested however it wasn't possible in that instance so went ahead and purchased acetylene bottles with a cutting torch and also paid extra for a rosebud tip to give lots of heat. It's got seven little jets rather than one and does create quite a bit of heat. Back at it, we have hundreds of pieces to bend for this garage retaining wall foundation. The reason it's so hefty is it's holding back approximately 20 feet of earth side of footing to the top of the reed. Here's a sample of what we've done. This is the one inch rebar standing ready to continue the rebar installation for the footing. Footing here is four feet deep. Bending some more steel, getting a little quicker at it. shot of the tips, seven little tips making some heat. And there you go, just like that bent to the proper shape. A little more 
close up for you. Here we finish this footing rebar. And this is the day we're pouring the concrete. Now the pump truck there filling up the form. Here we have the wall rebar. See how extensive it is every six inches. Have to bend some more rebar. So that's it. Hope it helps you out if you're in the predicament of bending one inch rebar on site.